Hi, I'm Sadia, and this is the Art of Storytelling in Denim. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I come from an academic family. My mum was a university lecturer, and my dad was a doctor educated in Pakistan in the late 60s. I, however, fit into neither of these academic professions. I have always been an artist, a creative thinker and a doer. I was born and brought up in the UK. I graduated in graphic design at UAL, Central St. Martins in London. My career led me to fashion in the early 2000s and that's where I grew as a designer. I have always loved doing lots of things and working in different mediums. Some say you should do one thing and do one thing well. But honestly speaking, I can't help myself. I love variety, I love exploring new ideas and don't enjoy being pigeonholed. I've been lucky in my career that I've had the freedom to work in many different areas, daring to go beyond the boundaries of graphic design and delve into creative direction and film work. Endrhyme began as a denim brand and consultancy created by Mawson and myself in 2012. We mainly consult for denim brands and denim mills. Mawson handles and creates denim collections and as art director I handle all visual communication on projects for our clients. We've been fortunate in that our skill sets have always complemented each other. Alongside Endrome, we set up Denim History, a denim educational platform where we create workshops so people can learn more about denim history and how to make a pair of jeans. What is storytelling? Every job at Endrome, large or small, has a graphic design element to it. I work on everything from concept to design execution. I handle editorial photo shoots, manage a team of creatives on big jobs. In addition, I edit films, work on websites. We recently created an online denim tool for designers. I do brand identity, marketing assets, social media. I design graphics and prints for garments, metal trims like rivets and buttons for jeans. I design lookbooks, sales books, infographics, and I collaborate with global brands as an artist. In addition, I do photography and I'm an illustrator. All of these areas have one mutual purpose, and that's communication. Don't mistake legibility for communication, David Carson. 70 to 93% of communication is non-verbal. What does this tell us? The fonts we choose, the images we use, and the colours we choose for our brands mean something. And that non-verbal communication can make or break a brand. When we select all the components that make up a brand, we choose elements that form a narrative and that story becomes the basis for everything the brand creates visually going forward. Through storytelling, we can create connections between people and that's how our customers connect with some brands more than others. Storytelling is key in communicating new collections and campaigns, especially since our work and lives had to adapt to going online during a pandemic. Denim Mills quickly had to rely on producing online content that made sense without them being there in person to explain it at a trade show. That meant we had to get clear on who we are, what the message is, and how we want to communicate that. Luckily for us, we've been creating and directing videos for denim collections and denim mills since 2005, and we were already versed in creating content online. So our work actually increased through the pandemic as companies quickly realised they needed to share clear and coherent messaging. So how do you tell a good story? Despite the variety of work, my method and way of working haven't changed. I apply the same philosophy to every brief, every job and every project I work on. I like to hone in on the client to truly understand who they are and find the qualities that I want to explore and highlight through the work I produce for them. I believe working this way creates meaning and longevity through authenticity. Great, so how do we begin? We begin at the core. Use your intuition. I ask myself these questions. Question one. Who is the client? Is it a denim mill? A brand? An individual? Is it a family-owned business that goes back generations or a brand new business? 
Or is it female owned or educational? Is it a young brand? Question two, what does this bring up? If it's a family owned business, words like warmth come to mind. If the business has been around for generations, words like stability come to mind. If a business feels traditional, you feel as though they are rooted in what came before. A brand new business, maybe future thinkers, dreamers, have a modern clean aesthetic. A female owned business will drive self empowerment, be supportive, feel accessible to female designers amongst a male dominated industry. They may be dynamic and forward thinking. A platform based around denim education is a learning space designed to nurture imagination and provide information. Number three, what's the story and what are we focusing on? Is it a seasonal project that's about a new product or new campaign? If so, we can look at trends for inspiration. Is it a long-term project that needs longevity? If so, we can design something that's more classic in tone. Does the client support local communities? If so, can you go there yourself and see the work firsthand? Number four, where will the work be seen? Online, at a trade show, social media campaign, posted out to clients and brands. All of this research into the client will give you visual cues to create a foundation that you can build a story on from the ground up. A few rules. Fonts have their personalities. Choose wisely. Don't use too many all at once. A good logo should be able to work in one colour. Your design work should be easy to understand without explanation. And remember, rules are there to be broken, but you have to understand the rules before you can break them. Above all, keep it simple, keep it consistent and trust your intuition. Do what you feel is right. When you think of a denim brand, what do you think is the most important element in telling a visual story? Is it the images? The copy? The concept? The logo? Is it the choice of fonts they made? Let's take a look at Levi's for example. This ad campaign was probably storyboarded months in advance. They hired models, a photographer, a stylist and probably a pretty large team to make the shoot happen. But if we took away the copy, Remove the taglines. And what if we remove the models? And even remove the word Levi's from the logo. What you have left is still a recognisable brand. That's the power of good branding and storytelling. And design agency Turner Duckworth felt the same way. Look how powerful this image looks and the consistency in the branding across all mediums. It's a powerful statement. So what's your story? Perhaps you're a student and you're thinking about how you can present yourself and your work when you apply for jobs after you graduate from university. I'll leave you with this short exercise. Create a new folder on your desktop, or if you prefer, create a new Pinterest board, or my favourite, create a pin board at home dedicated to this exercise. Research and collect. Three logos you love. You may find hundreds, but narrow it down to your top three. Find three companies that in your wildest dreams you would have curated yourself or simply admire. Then find three things that inspire you. This can be anything outside of fashion and denim. It can be something you read, something you listen to, a piece of art, your favourite pair of jeans. It can be anything. Find your favourite colours and pin them to your board. Why are you creating your story? What does it mean to you? What does your story represent for you? What do you want your story to say about you? What qualities are there? Once you've collected all of this imagery, just take a moment and look at it all together and you'll begin to see connections and visual cues that you can use as direction to create a logo, choose your fonts, your colours and imagery and begin your visual story that represents an authentic you. I hope that helped and thank you to Transformers Ed for inviting me to this edition. Thank you for having me.